what's cracking homies this is uh crack kicks in the house about to bring you an epic battle against uh giant garchomp one well that's how he used to that's how he used to call himself but now he's gear flow and uh we haven't battled in five months i, I remember i used to battle him and he used to battle me i used to beat him and he used to beat me and uh today he skyped me and was like you want to battle and i'm like heck heck yeah bro let's do this shit and then right here, I figured he might not be carrying the fire punch, but he does. And I stayed in, going for the stealth rocks, and uh, he does carry he does carry the fire punch, which messed me up. And I'm like, wow! I just I just let go there. Pretty much, I was I'm, I was battling with a five six right here, which obviously is a five six. And then right here, I go for the epic prediction because I scared him off right here, and I go for the surf on an incoming heat ram, which was an epic ass move, if you ask me. And then right here, he goes for the, he, he I see he's leftovers, um, and he goes for the protect, um, that means that if I go for another surf, I won't be able to KO, and he will be able to manage his, manage to set up his, uh, stealth rocks, which kind of sucks, but, uh, because if he manages to go for the stealth rocks, pretty much my, uh, what's his name, uh, Beer tick is useless because it's carrying a focus sash, and my beer tick needs a focus sash to first set up a swords dance, um, possibly get hit, endure one hit, and then start a little sweep because it does have the switch swim. And now that I have poly polytoed up, it does have the rain up, so that will benefit my beer tick, but except not because uh, the stealth rocks uh, get put into my place, um, into my around my field. Now, um, beer tick is pretty much useless. Which kind of sucks, cause uh, beer tick. I love beer tick, bro. And then right here he's gonna withdraw. I make another epic prediction, cause I knew he was gonna withdraw. And I'll go for the ice beam, and boom, I get a crit on this uh, Celebi, on this incoming Celebi. And I, I'm pretty sure the crit mattered to bring down to bring down the Celebi. But uh, right here. I should have gone for the safe hydro pump, dude, because the Celebi was at low HP, and if he would have switched, uh, he would have gone into something that will not take a hydro pump too well. And I just, and I, sh I just went for the ice beam. I should have just gone for the safe hydro pump. Damn it! And then right here, I miss my hydro pump, dude, which kind of sucks because uh, he's gonna be able to go, uh, go for a nice acrobat and bring me down very low. And then right here, I was fearing not. I was fearing that I might miss the hydro pump, but no, I hit it and I one hit KO this um, Caesar on this turn. So uh, I don't know. Would you call that one hit KO? No, it was pretty much uh, low HP. So it was it was one hit KO with the hydro pump. Uh, I don't know. Right here, he's gonna go into his Dragonite. Yeah, Dragonite, also known as Dragon Tails, which is a very clever name if you ask me, dude. And then right here goes for the Extreme Speed. Had he not, I mean, had I not missed that Hydro Pump, I would have probably saved, survived this Extreme Speed and gone for that nice Ice Beam, but whatever. Right here, I go for the old, my uh, Infernip and I make the stupidest play of them all. I go for a U-turn on the uh, and then he extreme speeds me, which is kind of which brings me low. And I go for the U-turn. What the fuck, man? What am I thinking at this point? I should have gone for the Stone Edge, and uh, that was stupid because uh, now if I go into my Furnape, it's pretty much dead because of the Stealth Rocks. And I'm thinking, wow, man, fucking bullshit. I I just uh fuck. I just I gave away a free Ferrothorn, and now I'm giving away a free Infernape. That's fucking bullshit. And then I just go into my um, Hydreigon, survive an extreme speed, go for a drive-by Draco Meteor, and destroy this uh, Dragon Tails. Um, what's his name? Um, Dragonite. And uh, yeah, at this point, I'm thinking, wow, my Infernape is pretty much useless, and I really needed him to bring down the Heat Ran and possibly the Terrakion if it's not Scarfed. And there he goes for a close combat. Boom, brings down my Hydreigon, obviously. And then right here, I go into my Beer Tick because um, Beer Tick does have the Swiss Swim ability, and I could go for the Icicle Crash. Possibly one hit KOing this uh, um, Terrakion, but that's not the case because this Terrakion is um, choice scarfed. And I'm like, oh my god, how unexpected. I wasn't expecting this Terrakion to carry a choice scarf because I've seen most of them choice banded and uh, some of them uh, focus sashed. And I really, wow. And uh, right here, I just go into my Uxi as he switches out, I believe, into his Celebi. And I'm going for that knockoff, knocking off its leftovers. And it's pretty much at low HP. Um, This knockoff will not KO 
But uh, right here, he's going to go for a Giga Drain as I U-turn out of there and go into my Infernape. And uh, you know what's going to happen. Infernape is going to die to Stealth Rocks, which was a really stupid move once again in my part. Oh, why did I go for the U-turn? Uh, but yeah, again, that that um one play, uh, Terrakion being scarfed, that was unexpected. That took me by surprise, guys. Um, Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Holy shit, I lost this battle. I literally said that. <laughs> and uh, I remember... Uh, uh, Gear Flow saying one time that there should always be a choice scarfed uh, Pokemon in your team because it's very useful and now I'm seeing why okay this Terrakion scarfed just screwed me over but so uh, oh well it was good game right here at this point uh, right here goes I managed to kill the the, the Celebi and I go into my Infernip dies and he goes into his Terrakion goes for the unstabbed uh, X Scissor uh, I will survive that because once again Uxi is a freaking boss go for that Thunder Wave and I will be able to outspeed him going for a nice Stealth Rocks because this I don't know I really didn't want to hurt this Terrakion out of respect to this battler also known as uh, Gear Flow because he's a good friend man um, he was one of my first subscribers back in the day when I used to be Dark Wolf XF and he used to be Giant Guard Chomp 1 so a good game um, Gear Flow I enjoyed this OU match very much I hope we make a nice RU match and a UU match later in the future and uh this week I will be hopefully doing a daily upload if I find battles every day. And uh, yeah guys, um, hopefully I could also get a nice battle against, uh, what's his name, Pokemon, also known as John. A nice UU match, my very first UU match against him. I, I want to see how that turns out. I'm going to contact, contact him today at Skype and uh, let's see if we could get that battle going for t so I can show you guys tomorrow how it went. So yeah, guys, once again, this, is, this has been Crackix, and uh, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of this building, homies. Peace.